So, um, villagers. Yeah, they're not the smartest mobs. They can give you some great items. I thought about making a villager trading hall. There isn't really a point to me building this, but you know, you never know if I might want to enchant something. Almost every person that plays Minecraft for a good while in one world ends up building one of these. And I've never built one for some reason. Now I finally decided to build one. I already have my own village, but it's not anything special. It's just kind of something I thought about. And it's really not something I want to have anymore. It's just kind of there, and I don't really care about it. And my villagers are either farmers or librarians or nothing else. And I want to have every type of villager that sells everything. So now I will be able to have every item to trade if I actually build this now. If you enjoy, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 2k subs before the summer of next year, or I guess before I get out of school. And I know that it's a long while from now, and I'm pretty close to 2k subs, but, you know, I don't really get many views in my videos anyway. Uh, but... If you can just subscribe, or like, or just comment or anything, that'll make me really happy, and it'll just help my video. But anyway, let's just move on to the video. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to my hardcore series. And obviously, as you already should know, by watching the intro and the title of the video, or the thumbnail, I'm going to be making a villager trading hall. In my last episode, I obviously built my potion brewer, my automatic potion brewer. And I'm actually kind of happy I did this, because for the villager trading hall, Basically what's going to happen is, if you don't know, you can actually get a villager and if you turn them into a zombie villager and cure them back to normal, you can get all their trades for one emerald. And the way to do that is you get a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple. So it's actually really good that I built this because I can get easy splash potions, and, or yeah, easy splash potions of weakness. It's really good. And I know in the intro I said that I want to have every type of villager, but... It turns out that this villager trading hall kind of thing is only for librarians. I'm actually fine with that because I can do all the trades myself with all the farmers because they all have very similar trades. So it really wouldn't be that hard. But the librarians are kind of tedious and I just want to have all of the books for them. Just so I don't have to worry about having to try to get books through the enchantment table. It would just be much easier to do it um, through trading hall. And I don't know if I should do this or not, but... For the villager trading hall, you have to build it in the side of a mountain. You don't have to, but I'm just going to do that. And I was going to do it in this one little, right here. I know it's on a mountain, but like it's a big enough hill. But I don't know if it is actually big enough or not the entire build. So I do have to find another hill to use, which kind of sucks. I could do this right here, but I don't know. I guess I'll have to figure that out real quick before I even do anything. So I'll get back to you guys when I actually find the spot I'm going to build them at. You know what, I guess I'll try it here. This might be too small, but, you know, it, it's alright. I think it might be big enough. It should be. Because, obviously, I don't like making things that are exposed because I'm not very good at disguising them as something else or making them look better than they are. With this potion brewer, I just kind of covered it in stone because, well, I didn't know what else to do. And I just don't really know what to do with this anyway. I just It's just kind of here in the, out in the open. But yeah, I, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and try to build it in uh, in this mountain right here. If it doesn't work out, well, I'll make it work. Because I don't want to spend all the time and it turns out I can't even build it here. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on for the materials. Okay, so I'm here. And the material list isn't really that bad. It's honestly pretty easy to get all this stuff. But the one problem with this is... In the video, it says 26 villagers that it holds, yet there is 38 books that are good to have. The only the only books that you don't really want to have is the cursed books. If I exclude those, then there's a total of 38 different uh, different uh, enchantment books. So this list is going to be a little confusing because I'm going to have to add like 12 to each of these um blocks like how many i need for each one so for instance like there's 26 tests 26 oak signs 26 lovers and all that stuff i have to add about 12 to that so it could be even and i also have to make it bigger than the video actually is because the build is only meant for 26 villagers not 38 so i'm gonna have to kind of build it bigger myself and I actually have already planned all this out before i made the video so i'm not just sitting there kind of confused on what to do and just so i don't mess it up and have to break the whole thing but yeah, let's go ahead and start collecting materials. To start it off, I need about five stacks 
of uh, stone bricks. I don't actually really have any stone. So I'm gonna go ahead and go grab some stone real quick on my mine. Okay, now I'm back with the five stacks of stone. Go ahead and turn them into bricks real quick. See, there we go. Now I need about four stacks of spruce logs. Problem with this is I don't actually think I even have logs to begin with, the spruce logs. I don't even know if I have them in here. Okay, well, I only have about a stack of spruce logs, which isn't bad, but I still need, obviously, the uh, three other stacks. I believe if I go this way, or I guess either way really works. It doesn't really matter which way I go. I will run into a spruce forest. And here is some spruce. Over there is a spruce forest. And I'm going to go ahead and just collect some wood real quick. Wait, hold on. So I actually need 224 spruce planks, or I don't know how many stacks it is. It's probably about four stacks as well. And I need about three stacks of slabs. So might just grab seven stacks of, of uh, spruce logs real quick. I should not have put four of them in... Oh, wait, that's the wrong shulker box. Put them in here. There we go. Now, if I take these four stacks of planks, put them in there, and I got to turn, I think, one of these into planks and turn them into slabs. Oh, God, they gave me a lot. I only need three stacks of slabs. One, two, three. Okay, now I need a stack of temporary blocks, or just a stack of dirt. There we go. Okay, now I need 52 trap doors i don't really know what these trap doors are for so i'm gonna look at it real quick okay so i'm not really sure like, what the trap doors are for but i'm just gonna go ahead and make two stacks of them just in case because i don't really know um what exactly they're used for you know i only was able to make a stack of 42 but that should be good enough so now we need 44 note blocks this is where the stuff comes in where i need to get extra than i actually or than the video actually says I don't even know how you make a note block, to be honest. Oh. I need 44 redstone. And I don't really know how much wood I need. Let's see if I even have any. Okay, I do have some birch. Here's the 44 note blocks. Now I need 44 spruce fences. Oh, I need to go get some more wood. Alright, well here's the 44 fences that I needed to use the wood on. So I need like a stack of stone brick stairs. Oh, and I have a lot apparently. I didn't know that. The stairs. I need 44 oak signs. I actually need 38 signs. Not 44. Oh. Here's the signs. There we go. I need 38 chests, which is going to be kind of annoying to get that. Oh, I just have the chest. That's cool. I need 38 levers. There's the 38 levers. Now we need 38 lecterns. I don't really know how you make those. Oh, I need 38 bookshelves. There we go. There's the lecterns. I need 38 redstone repeaters. Do I? I do not have all of those. Here's the 38 repeaters. Now I need 38 sticky pistons. I actually think I have a lot of pistons, right? I do. Look at that. There we go. Those are 38 pistons. I need about half a stack of torches. There we go. I need 12 anvils. Um, that's a lot of iron. There's 12 anvils, and I need six name tags. I don't know if my villagers have a name tag or not. I think the max librarians do. I don't know which librarian is a max level, though. Are any of them? Uh-oh. Okay, well, it doesn't look like I have a villager that's max level for librarian. I thought I did. I really thought I did. <sighs> Finally, I got the six name tags. Oh my god. And that is all the materials that I'm gonna need.
So I'm gonna go ahead and begin the video and see how I'm supposed to start this. So I'm a liar. I am not gonna build in a mountain. I'm actually gonna build it in here. Remember when I drained this out? Like, I don't know, a long time ago, like five months ago. I actually don't know how long it's been, but it's been a long time. And I never had a use for this. I drained it, never cared about it. Kind of forgot about it sometimes that it was even here. Um, and I did obviously change it or like make it look better. I got rid of all the quartz fruit and evenly spaced out all these um, end rods. Because before I had it, um, end rods and quartz fruit just kind of everywhere. And on the inside, I also kind of had it the same way where I had end rods everywhere. They weren't spaced out evenly, but now they are. And I decided to just build it in here because I don't have a use for this at all, as I already said. It's perfect to put it in here. I have seen other people do this before where they put a trading hall inside of a drain ocean monument. But honestly, I don't know what else to do with this besides doing that. I could turn this into like another guardian farm or, you know, some, I don't know, but I'm going to turn it into the villager trading hall. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to begin the build and figure out where I'm actually going to build this because I could just build it way back here. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll figure that out real quick. Okay. So now I've got the outline, um, of how big it needs to be. I don't know how this is going to work though, mainly because this build isn't meant for the inside of a monument, but I guess I'll just start doing it, see how it looks afterwards. So I need to count 16 from the end. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, 13, 14. Okay, if I grab some logs, I gotta add 5, so 1, 2, 5, and I gotta do it to the same side. Five. Oh, no, I think seven on each because I'm making it bigger. So it has to be two blocks bigger and every single time he says in the video it has to be a certain length. I just got to add two to it. I got to take my note blocks, wherever they are, right here. Add one on here. Got to repeat it on this side. Go. So it says he got to place four with a gap in between. One, two, three, four. Four. But I'm wanting it to be bigger, so I think I add two more. That. Yeah, so this is how I'm supposed to do it. And I believe I do that on the other side too. Yeah, I actually made a mistake. I have to raise this whole section up two blocks for it to actually work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some end bricks real quick and just kind of raise the entire thing up. This should be good enough. I didn't raise it two, I raised it one, because I think I only needed to be raised one time. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and get back to where I was. And I'll resume from there. Okay, so I'm back to where I was, but I don't know if this is actually going to work or not. But I'll, I'll see if it works. Or not. Now I got to dig, or, or uh, not dig. I got to make, uh, basically, I got to do this, where I break all the blocks to make, like, this kind of shape and do that all the way around. So basically, I got to just do this the whole way around. So now I did it all the way around. Should be good. All right, so now I need to grab my sticky pistons, my repeaters, and my trap doors, and my levers. There we go. Now I gotta break this block and place a piston there. Trap door, put it like that, and then get a repeater like that. And then put a lever right here. I gotta do it like that. And now it should, yep, there we go. And I gotta do that to every single one of these. There we go, I did that all of them. Now I'm gonna take my logs again and build it three high up. I got three more back here. And I believe I gotta do this all the way around. Like that, I believe. Yep, and then I gotta go all the way around and just basically place logs like how I done that one. There we go. All right, now I gotta get my planks, uh, wherever they are. I think they're in this one. Yeah, they are. I gotta go back behind here Add two high like this and do the whole way. That. And then I gotta add two blocks like this all the way. And I gotta do this on every side. There we go. And now I gotta get my chest right here. And then this time, what I gotta do, I gotta add trap doors right here. I know it might be pretty dark to see, but. Right here, then I gotta put a chest right there, and I gotta do that through all of them. There we go. Now I just gotta add some torches on it real quick. 
And now just for some decoration, I could add fences, which I'm gonna do. There we go. Now this next part might be a bit tricky, but I have to get on top of these somehow. I might just use dirt to get up there. All right, now I'm up here. Basically, I gotta put dirt there, take these stairs, and place them like that. So I'm able to open the chest, but it, then it still looks kind of neat. I gotta do this the whole way around. And there's a last stair. There we go. I gotta grab some stone bricks real quick. Now I just gotta make like a two block wide um, area with the stone bricks like this. I also got to connect the corners. Oh, I don't know if this is going to be tall enough. Uh-oh. You know what? I'm going to break everything again like I did <clears throat> before. And I'm actually going to bring the whole thing back all the way to the corners. Now I'm back to where I was. All right, so now I got to make a staircase going up. I'm not really sure how I should approach this, though. There we go. I could do that. Which works. Isn't how the video is, but you know, it's how I'm gonna do it. I just gotta do it to this side as well. Now I gotta get some slabs. I don't actually have any, any on me for some reason. Okay, I got the slabs. Now what I need to do is, I need to come to the edge right here, put an upper slab and do this all the way around. Just like that. Now what I need to do is I need to come over here, put two logs like that. Then I have to put a no block on it and then a log like that. Gotta do it to the other side. There we go. Now I gotta get stone bricks. Place one at every other block. Like that. And I gotta do that all the way around. There we go. Now we gotta go all the way around on all these stone bricks and do this. And they're gonna do it all the way around. And I don't know how this is gonna go. Um, guess I'll figure it out. When I did it all the way around, I'm a little concerned about this whole area. Um, but I'll figure it out. Alright, now I basically gotta mirror what I did down there. I gotta add, like, the piston and everything. And I'm just going to assume that I have to do all this stuff again where I put all the chests and everything. But I'm going to not do that first. I'm just gonna add the piston. Uh, the trap door, the repeater, the lever real quick. I'm gonna do it all the way around. All right, I finished putting all this stuff down. Uh, now, the next part, I believe, is just kind of filling the outline in so it doesn't, so it isn't like all like open. So let me just check that real quick. Oh, well, actually, I gotta add stone bricks here. Yeah, I put, did it all the way around. Now I gotta bring this up to here. And we gotta go over here and place logs all the way up here like that there we go so it's just like how the video is i gotta add building blocks between all the trap doors like that i gotta place spruce on top of all of them i gotta do this on all the sides might be kind of complicated um since it's like this i don't think i'd have to build a three high i, think I could just do this Instead of making it a lot more complicated for myself, I'll just make it easier for myself and not have to worry. There we go. There we go. Did it to all the sides. Now I gotta add two planks like this all the way around, like I did before. There we go. I did it all the way around. Now I gotta add the trap doors all the way around and add the chest to them. I don't have to do it on this side though, because, you know, there's these blocks in the way. It's actually kind of fine now we gotta add some fences go now i gotta add slabs on top of all the chests this might be a little awkward because this is in the way but i can fix it all right there we go i'm just gonna turn like these blocks that are above the chest into just stairs i think you could make purple stairs i believe you can now i'm just gonna place planks all the way around Make it look better. So now, pretty much, this build is over with. Um, I'm gonna still add a few things to make it look better, but since I built this in a monument, it isn't the best looking thing I've ever built. Um, 
but I'm just gonna kind of make it look better I'm gonna put planks and everything on the outside and just kind of make it a little bit better and I'll get back to you guys when I have pretty much finished the whole thing well now I'm done with the whole thing now we just got to move on to um getting the villagers not sure how I'm gonna do that but I'll I'll figure out how to get two villagers here so it was pretty easy getting the villagers here I went on the roof of the nether like I always do to transport anything I put some rails down on the nether and I just transported them with a minecart and a boat and if you didn't know you could use a minecart and a boat together and it pushes the villagers or pushes anything without needing any powered rails I actually had no idea that was a thing until I started making this video and in case you guys are wondering how I went about getting all the enchantment books I will actually show that another thing is that you might see that the trading hall itself is actually completely different I changed it to the whole end look I wanted it to match the ocean monument instead of it being like spruce it just kind of didn't seem like a fit there so I decided to just change it I completely forgot I even did this because when I was looking back on the recording I didn't even mention it at all but in case you guys are wondering I did change it so yeah let's move on to the actual video itself all right so I have all the villagers now I have 38 villagers here and now I just gotta wait for uh, all of them to go up I guess I can just uh, kill these two because they're too extra so I'm uh, you know go ahead and uh... well okay so I don't know if all the villagers are here I hope they are I mean it, it looks like it um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, figure out how exactly I even get the villagers into uh, the little areas, how I get them into here. I believe I use a mi like a, um, a minecart or something. I don't remember how exactly. I wasn't really watching the video on that part yet. But we'll go ahead and now uh, move on to that part real quick and see how I do it. Okay, so this actually might be kind of hard to do. I need to go grab some minecarts real quick though. Alright, so this actually isn't that hard. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this slowly so I don't mess anything up. I'm going to take the lecterns, make a little area for the villagers. Um, and these little areas, the villagers are just going to be in here in minecarts. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and just build a few of these. So I end up talking really fast this next part. I basically am just saying, like, this is what I'm going to do for the this next part. Like, put the villagers in the minecarts and just keep breaking the lectern and keep putting it down until I get a book I want. Alright, so this is what I'm talking about. I gotta get the villagers in here like this. I'm going to do it until all these are filled up. Alright, so I got them all in there. Now I need to put... Wait. There we go. Alright, now I just gotta keep doing this until I get trades I want. Oh, wait, hold on. Alright, so now I have a, a librarian with a max level enchantment for something, and it's dub side of three. So I need to go ahead and grab some paper real quick. I actually might grab a shulker box and, um,. Get a bunch of emeralds, books, all that stuff, and some paper, just so I can do trades with them. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to my house, get sh two sugar boxes, and just fill them with stuff so I can actually like trade them and keep their trades. Alright, so instead of a villager over there, I don't know where he was, um, I locked in the trades for this one. And so, now, I think I, if I make rails, I gotta lead them up here. Now, if I break all these temporary blocks, push him, there we go, now he's in there. I gotta make some temporary blocks so he doesn't escape or anything. Should not be able to escape through this. Now, I also gotta go back here Put temporary blocks like that. Gotta make sure that I hit mine cart like that. There we go. Now I gotta place a lectern here and do this. There you go. So it's just like that. And gotta get a sign. And this guy is silk touch, so. What I do is I put the sign here and type silk touch. And just like that, 
Now, I got to do that with every single enchantment and got to put them all down here and all up here. This might take me a few hours to do this, but uh, I'm going to start doing it. Okay, I am on my last villager, and I was always curious when I started this what would be my last enchantment book that I'd end up needing, and uh, well, it's the one that I don't care about at all. It's uh, projectile protection. It's probably the most useless um, enchantment for armor, in my opinion, because I never ever found a use for it at all. I don't know why you'd even want projectile protection in the first place, it's just not helpful, because protection, blast protection, those two are just so much better. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just get this villager to have uh, projectile protection for it. And then I'll be able to move on to the uh, last step of this build and finally be done with it. Oh! Oh! I got it! Yes! <laughs> this villager has been giving me like every single enchantment other than that. He gave me like sharpness five, like three mending books, prop four. He's giving me everything else, and then he's finally giving me a projectile protection four. Oh my god, that took so long. Oh, wait, yes, I got him. Oh, that's finally the last villager. All right, now I can move on to the next step. And right before I do that, I realized something when I was building this is that soul speed is something you don't get from villagers and I kind of completely forgot about that so I actually have too many villagers I have one here for 22 emeralds and I have one up here he's right here yeah and for 18 emeralds and I figured that I give it a soul speed and do mending as well just because well you know having mending up on both levels is nice and also out of the curses here because I kind of did the um, the counting wrong for what books there is because there's you can use the same books for like the same the same tools and like the same armor and everything so I actually counted some of the same books so I actually had to add the curse ones and then an extra mending one if that makes any sense uh, but the next step is I actually got rid of these anvils I placed down Real quick. might be a little complicated I need to replace like these little um, walls, or whatever, with normal um, fences because I need a zombie to come through here, and not even I can get through there. Um, that, or I could just remove them real quick. Yeah, maybe I could just do that instead. Uh, but I need to come back here. I don't know how far back. But I think I need to go down one level. Yeah, I need to come back here and get rid of all this dirt behind all the villagers. All right, I. Broke all the dirt around all the villagers. Now this section might be kind of complicated because I have to go outside real quick. And I'm going to go back here and I have to get rid of a bunch of light sources because I need zombies to spawn. So I'm going to go ahead get rid of... I don't know how, how many of these end rods I need to remove. But I'm just going to go ahead and remove a good amount of them. Right, so that should be good. I don't know if mobs can spawn in this light level right here. It should be dark enough. Um... But I do need to grab my six name tags I had and rename them so I could uh, name the zombies that go in here so they don't despawn. Alright, I have the name tags now, right here, and I just need to wait for uh, some zombies to spawn. I'll try to find some zombies underground. I just found two veins of diamonds. Pretty cool. I wasn't even really trying to find these, but never go wrong with some diamonds. Oh, a zombie. Ooh. Alright, well, there's one. Now, I just need to bring him where I mined out for a zombie to be. There we go. That was easy. Put that there. There we go. Now, there's a zombie back there. Now, I just need to get another one. 
Okay, hey, there's two zombies down there. That literally just spawned. A whole bunch of mobs spawned at once. So I need to go ahead and uh, kill everything that isn't. That'd be kind of complicated though, because I have two zombies. Actually, I can do this. I can do this. Come on. Got the other one. Oh no, they're both here. No. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, there's there's another one. And this one. Come on. Oh, come here. And there we go. Alright. Now we just need three more zombies, which shouldn't be too hard. Oh, another zombie. Okay. There we go. Oh, the last zombie. Yes. And there we go. There's a last zombie in there. Perfect. All right. So if I were to go to my mending village over here and I do this, what should happen is if I get out of the way of the zombie so he doesn't see me, he should start hitting the villager, right? Yeah, he is. Good. Now that he's a zombie villager, what I can do is I can go get a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple. Give it to him and his trades should be one emerald and one book for one mending book. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get just a whole double chest full of um, splash potions of weakness real quick. And I'm also going to probably get like a stack of golden apples if I can. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll come back and I'll see you guys when I have all that stuff. Right, I'm back with all the uh, the stuff I, I... Oh, I forgot to grab four chests. Damn it. All right, now I have the chests. I just got to figure out where to put them. Maybe I could just put them at the entrance here. Get rid of this crafting table real quick. Go. And I guess I'll put the potions in here and emeralds and uh, golden apples in here. Uh, wait, is the zombie villager still there? Oh, yes, he is. Okay, good, 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 good. I thought he might have despawned. Um, now, if I take all my splash potions out and just put them all in this chest real quick. I also take the emeralds out. Put them in the other chest. There's all the emeralds and then finally the golden apples. So... Now, if I take one splash potion, one golden apple, go up here, put the splash potion on the villager, and then give him that golden apple. Now, if I wait some time, he should, in theory, turn back to a normal villager, and the mending book should only cost one emerald and one book. There we go. Now he's back. Let's see if his trade is one emerald. And it is. Okay, good. Um, I also need to grab some books, but uh, that pretty much is it for the video. I didn't really have any other plans. I actually did have another plan where I was going to build a huge emerald farm. Um, since I'm going to need emeralds to trade with, but I feel like this is plenty enough. I've, I've, I'm going to only need one emerald for each trade. This, this should be should be enough um but yeah that, that's pretty much it for the video and i'm almost on day 2000 i'm about 60 days away so uh if you guys ever want to see a day 2000 tour or something like that let me know um because i i you know obviously can easily make that uh, i don't know if i have enough stuff to show my world to make a new video on it though because my 1000 days um, wasn't too long ago, and I haven't really did a whole lot within this thousand days, but, uh, yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to, uh, leave a like and subscribe. You don't have to, but, uh, it helped me out much more than you can, uh, probably imagine, um, but yeah, uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.